What's up, gamers? Welcome back to yet another diecast opening and review. Here today, we've got a pretty old one. This is Elliot Sadler's 2004 black and white M&M's car. I, don't, I think it's a 2004 Daytona 500 special. This is the scheme he ran at Daytona 500. You've probably seen this scheme before. It's probably on one of the most famous NASCAR pictures ever. <laughs> if you've never seen it before, it's kind of just like... Uh, it's it'll be something. I somehow got this tape like got underneath it, so this is how we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna uh, there we go. I almost just stabbed myself there. All right, and then oh, I forgot to mention this is autographed, by the way, on the hood of the car. So. That's pretty cool as well. And I got this for like 30 bucks, so it's a pretty good deal. Uh, here's the box, by the way. This is the M&M's black and white. Elliot Sadler. Uh, let's see how many of these were made. Um, 5,880. So, let's get this out of here. Like so. Alrighty. Let me take the car out, and then slide it out of the cover, and then boom, this is it. This is the Elliott Sadler, number 38, the black and white M&M Daytona 500 Special autographed. Let me put this aside as well. All right, there I guess. Another really cool thing about this, this was the first year for the Nextel Cup Series. So that's why they have that on the rear bumper. So, pretty cool. And I think it was the first race. I think they only use it for the first race for the Nextel. Uh, I don't know if they use it all season or not. But this is the car. Let's go over sponsors and stuff on this. Haven't done this on an old car before. Uh, in 2000s anyway. Uh, you got all the contingencies there. I'm not going to go over all of them, but you can see them. <laughs> uh, the 38. Then you have M&M's, Pedigree, Ray Bet, uh, Ray Bistos or something? Uh, Brands. Uh, then you have Elliot Sadler on the name rail. You have Coca-Cola, Ford Racing. I don't know what that middle logo is. It looks like an and sign, but I can't really tell. Uh, there's that. You have Snickers, Combos, Mac Tools, UPS, and something else. What does that say? Rotella? Rotella something? So that's that side. Then you have the M&M guy on the back here with another M&M. Then you have Welcome Nextel, 20, 2004 inaugural season. Then the Ford logo and the 38 and Ray Ever or not Ray Everham. Roush Yates Racing. Uh, then you have M&M's on the deck lid right here. Let's see a little paint chip or something. And then on the other side, pretty much the same exact thing. Uh, you have uh, M&M's, Rebestos Brands, Pedigree, Rotella, UPS, Mac Tools, Coca-Cola, Ford Racing, Combos, Kudos. Maybe that's what it was. That's probably what this was. I don't I don't know. I don't know why they had the logo like that. Anyway. Okay. And Starburst. Okay, maybe it's different sponsors on each side. I didn't even know. Wait, I didn't even know he was sponsored by Starburst. That's cool. Uh, 38, Nextel Cup Series, and all the contingencies there. As well as right there as well. And Goodyear logo. And then on the hood, you have Eminem with the autograph. And you have 38 Ford Taurus and Roush Yates Racing. Uh, I believe he won the... What is it called? They called some of the duels. The twin duels or something uh, in this car. I don't know how he did in the 500. <laughs> I really did not watch a race for this. I don't know why I didn't. I probably should have uh, if I were to know anything on this car. Um, 
So yeah, this is only one. He only ran this once, ever in his career. Uh, but Elliot Sadler is mostly known for uh, his two flips in 2003 and 2004, at both at Talladega as well. So, and it's I think it was in the same car. Uh, it was like his primary M and M scheme, uh, with all the colors and stuff. So yeah, um, and then he retired with uh, JRM Motorsports. He actually was pretty close to getting a championship in 2018, but um, Ryan Priest, one of my favorite guys now, uh, kind of screwed him over because he was a lap card and moved out of the way, and then kind of cost Elliot Tyler a championship, probably one of his well, his last one. Um, I don't even think he won a championship in the Xfinity Series. By the way, let's open this deck lid, since they don't do this anymore. Um, you can see the engine, the, not the engine detail, the fuel cell. Uh, I think I can open the hood as well somehow. Uh, I think I'll flip it over. Yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe if I just hold it or something. There we go. If you hold it like this, there's the engine detail. And that puts start down. And they didn't, they didn't have the roof flaps yet on these. Actually, I think they put them in like maybe late 2000s or something. I don't even know, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, the, I don't think they did them for a while uh, with the roof flaps. But they did the deck lid and the hood. And then they stopped the deck lid in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. They do still open the deck lids, but it's on the elites and not the um arcs anymore so i kind of just suck i do have one elite pre-order and i think i've talked about it before it's uh a couple times actually harvick's budweiser car uh from homestead so i mean yeah that's pretty much it for this review i'm sorry it was so short i mean i didn't i really didn't look up any information how we did the race and whatever that's my fault and uh, also right here, there's no DIN number, I don't think. There's a Nextel Cup Series inaugural season edition right there. So I don't I don't think there's any DIN number on this. Which is, I guess, pretty cool. But there's that. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed in this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Especially if you like diecast reviews. I've got more coming soon. That one... Still hasn't come yet. I believe it's coming tomorrow or something. I don't know what's going on. So, um, yeah, we'll see you gamers next time. Have a great day, gamers.